G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this double-ended punching bag that is a lot of fun to work out on. Actually, for the ball, or for the bag, the ball bag, whatever you want to call it, I'm using a very light and cheap, it's only about a dollar, very cheap ball. It doesn't even have an inflation hole. So that's how cheap it is. Now, to hold the ball in place and to create these anchors for the two sides, I'm actually just using zip ties. Now, I've got a bunch of these zip ties from previous projects and stuff, but you can get these fairly cheap in a bag. Now, you want ones that are sort of approximately half of the uh, circumference of the ball itself so that you can have two of them linked together. Do one side and then you do another side. You need two sets to hold it in place like this. And at the very end, I've got them locked in place together with a smaller zip tie. You can use the same size, but doesn't really matter. So one there and one there. And that's it. You don't need tape. You don't need t-shirts or jeans. Now for the stretchy cords, I'm using these resistant bands that actually came in a pack. I bought them um, at one stage. I don't actually use them, but these, you can buy them individually. I saw them on eBay for about two, three dollars, and you can, you're going to need two of the same. And basically they come with these clips, and which are ideal to clip onto each side of your um, these two zip tie loops that you've created and that's it now you've just got to find anchor points in your home where you can clip these or attach these um, the ends so that the ball can be in the middle now i've found two spots or two anchor points that i've managed to attach to one is a cover a very heavy um, cover make sure it's heavy and it's not going to move and it's got a screw in there actually, so it was already there, and I've put that on. The other one is, is I've got this sort of like a wall piece here, and that's pretty sturdy. That's not going to go anywhere, so I've attached it to those ends, and I'm going to try it out. If you've got like an umbrella stand or something like that, you might be able to use that. Um, otherwise, like a door handle, and just look around your house, see what you can attach it to. All right, let's try this out. All right, so the ball goes all over the place. Oh, all right, take two. So here we go. All right, well that hook is definitely not working. It's just coming off the hook. I need to find a better way to attach that bloody thing. All right, in the end, I've just given up on attaching to my furniture and fittings. I've decided to just use two of my punching bag stands with a pole and just simply attach it that way. So I can extend the poles to increase the tension and this and thus increase the speed. But it's already quite good and it's plenty challenging. can't seem to make this thing stay but you get the idea you can anchor it in your house good luck but don't blame me if you break something and I'll see you guys next week G'day guys in this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these a double-ended punching bag that is a lot of fun 